We bring in Fox News course, senior correspondent Benjamin Hall. Ben, uh, great to see you. And I should mention that your Fox Nation special, American Exceptionalism, which we look forward to watching, is out on Friday. So people can watch it over Labor Day weekend uh, here in the States. So, Ben, we have seen an extraordinary transformation of events in Ukraine. They have now moved into a large 500-mile section of Russia. The retaliation for that from Russia was a large barrage of missiles, um, some of which hit civilian areas. We're seeing some of the images of that now. So where is all of this going, and what do you make of this first Ukrainian-built ballistic missile? Martha, good to see you as well. Well, look, for many, many months now, there has been effectively a stalemate inside Ukraine. The Russian forces haven't advanced very far. But one thing that the Ukrainians have been asking for since the beginning of this war is the ability to strike out at Russia and to hit those air bases, those military depots, mm -hmm. uh, all of those military sites two to 400 miles inside Russia. That would absolutely change the war, change Russia's ability to attack. Uh, the US, the UK have been unwilling to give them these ballistic missiles. And so hearing today that the Ukrainians have developed their own missiles, could well change what we see in the coming days and weeks. Because if the Ukrainians can by themselves hit these depots, they can drastically reduce Russia's ability to, to continue their attack and to supply their own troops. Now, we haven't seen this ballistic missile in action yet. We've just heard President Zelensky say they have developed one, they've test-fired one. But he is also still saying to the West... We need your ballistic missiles as well. Now, Russia has been very strong on this. They have said from the beginning, once these missiles are used against us in Russia, we will react in a very, very big way. And on a number of occasions, they have used the nuclear term to respond to that. Uh, Lavrov, the foreign minister, did so again today because they know what a big impact these ballistic missiles would have. So, look, after months of stalemate, we are at a position where, as you say, Ukrainian troops are inside Russia. They have 500 square miles of that territory. They have ballistic missiles that they might start using. And the big question is, how do Russia, how do they really respond? They have talked a big game to responding to this so far. Do they escalate their attacks, which they've seen them do over the last couple of days? Or is this perhaps an ability, a place for the Ukrainians to get into a better diplomatic position? And Zelensky in his speech earlier said that as well. He said that he was reaching out to the US with a new diplomatic and economic idea for solving this. So we don't know anything, but could grabbing this land, could getting these ballistic missiles be putting Ukraine in a position to start talking a little bit to Russia? Uh, in the meantime, the Russian bombs continue to fly into Ukraine. Uh, but analysts say that they can't keep up this level uh, of attacks for more than a few weeks because Russia, they don't have uh, this many bombs to continue either. But we are seeing a lot happening on, along the border at the moment. Well, it's fascinating and scary. And as you point out, the, the incursion, the reverse incursion that Ukraine pulled off inside of Russia has changed the game. It changes the dynamic after this very long stalemate and, and puts Russia in a position where they have to respond to this. And you just mentioned this, but Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Lavrov um, said this about Zelensky's demands to Western countries saying, look, untie our hands, let us attack some of these areas inside Russia to protect the people of Ukraine. Here's what he had to say. Watch us. The West does not want to avoid escalation. The West, how we say in Russia, is looking for trouble. It is very important to understand that we have our own doctrine, including doctrine on use of nuclear weapon, which is, by the way, being adjusted now. Which is being adjusted now, he says. And given all of this, Ben, we got a statement from President Biden. But, you know, everyone understands that people like to take a vacation at the end of the summer. But is President Trump's criticism about where he is, given what's going on, does it feel well-intentioned? It depends how you read what Lavrov and the Russians are saying. Uh, the Ukrainians say they are flexing their missiles, but they will never go as far as to use nuclear weapons. Even the Chinese have told them they can't. They're saying this because they don't want uh, the Ukrainians to use these missiles and to push it back. But we don't know. When Putin or someone like Putin is pushed into a corner, when his back is against the wall, could he? And that's why the Biden administration has all this time been holding back, holding back, because they are afraid of a bigger Russian response. We don't know what Putin is thinking, but he constantly uses this rhetoric again and again. Yeah, uh, it seems like a time for all hands on deck responses from the leaders in Europe and here at home. Ben, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.